you have a relatively large network, then one of your concerns is going to be rogue access points. This is something that is a significant security backdoor because someone can take an access point, plug it into your network, and now it becomes yet another way for people to gain access to your private network. You can go out on lunch break, go to a Best Buy, go to anywhere you can purchase one of these relatively inexpensive access points, bring it back to your office, give it some power, plug in an Ethernet cable, and now you have a wireless network. And if someone has not protected that network, anybody within range of that wireless access point would have access to your private network. One of the things that is very commonly done, especially in large environments, is to survey your surroundings, walk around the building with some equipment that can listen for access points, especially access points that don't belong to you. So you can pick out where somebody might be broadcasting or where somebody might have put an additional access point without your knowledge. You might also want to consider something like 802.1x. That would restrict people's access to any part of the network unless they provide the right credentials. They would have to authenticate to your 802.1x infrastructure before you could even gain access to anything else. So if somebody did set up a rogue access point, they would still have to authenticate using your 802.1x to gain access to anything else on the network. If you're in a relatively large organization, you travel a lot, you're in hotels, you're at conferences, another security concern you should be aware of is the wireless evil twin. The wireless evil twin starts easy enough. Someone will grab an access point off the shelf and they'll plug it in. The next step is they'll configure that access point to look exactly like all of the other access points around them. They'll give it the same SSID. They'll give it the same security settings. They'll try to make it look just like a twin of what's already there. But of course, this isn't the normal twin. This is the evil twin. They also will boost the signal or put it in a location so that it is the closest access point. It's going to overpower all of the other signals that might be out there for the real and trusted access points. So they'll try to put it in different locations. They'll try to increase the power of the access point itself. Maybe they'll put it on the outskirts of the signal to try to get the people that are outside of the normal range. And that way, they look just like every other access point that's out there. These days, there are so many Wi-Fi hotspots, you can find them anywhere, so it becomes even easier for somebody to become an evil twin of a wireless network. And that means you should be even more diligent about the traffic that you're sending across a wireless network. If you're connecting to a wide open public network, you should naturally consider that nothing is safe. It makes sense at that point to connect to websites using HTTPS or use your VPN back to your central location, and that VPN will encrypt all of the data going over that network. Although the access point is wide open and anybody can see your traffic, you've already encrypted it and nobody else can see anything that's inside of that encrypted tunnel. These are also very easy to set up if you get something like this pineapple device that's here. This can be bought right off the internet. You plug it in even into a mobile device, and now you're able to analyze traffic going through your wireless network, look for in the clear traffic, and that device can also act as a proxy. It can act as an evil twin. There are a lot of really nasty security things that can happen when somebody has one of those devices anywhere near your wireless network. If you have a large network or you travel a lot and use a lot of wireless networks, keep in mind that you need to secure yourself to avoid any of these rogue access points or evil twins.